Welcome back everyone to another video. So today we have a few big things that happened. I came top 8 at the UK extravaganza. Uh, this is a profile I'm doing for it. As well as a thank you to everyone for subscribing. I've now hit 200 and still climbing today. So it warms my heart. Thank you for everyone for subscribing and hopefully I can be entertaining enough for you to stick around I guess. So I won't waste any of your time. I'll get into it as quick as I can. So I'm going to just blast for it because it's very basic, free tour guide, free rhino, free graph, there you normal summons, don't play more, don't play less. Let's have it. Play C at 2, we play 2 Skarm, 2 Farfa, there you 2 other BAs and you have 1 Lubick, 1 Cow Cab, oh let's put over here, that's brightness, 1 Alec and 1 Barbar. Um, perfect ratios, you don't really need to change them. If you want to go up to 60 cards, don't know why you would, but if you want to go up to 60 cards, play free Seer, free Skarm, I guess, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it. That's the BA, pseudo BA lineup. Uh, quite thick, if I do say so myself. Then you play the bad cards. Oh, not bad cards, but well, cards you don't want to draw. Red Eyes package, we'll chuck this in there with it. Uh, Dragoon is a beast. And he just wins games by himself. Batjack is very strong. He uh, can turn into a trap as well as a lot of plays. If you see a tour guide in the top three, just stack it. Get a trap and then normal some tour guide and watch your opponent cry. Uh, last three spells. Uh, Self-explanatory, this card is absolutely stupid. Um, if you haven't picked yours up already, pick them up before they skyrocket even further. This could easily be like 150, 200. That's how good it, it needs to be. That's how much it should be worth, how strong this card is. Uh, so that's the spells. Very, very in depth from them. Then, look, going to the traps, we've got the uh, graveyard traps. We've got three griefing, three ice dragons prison. Uh, griefing is an interruption for your opponent's graveyard as well as follow up play or a second interruption by sending a backtrack. I um, mean, Ice Dragon's Prison is the best trap, best normal trap of this format, so you need to play it. Very strong. Then, Spot Removal, where you play 2 Karma, 3 Dino. Uh, I only play 2 Karma because it's probably the weakest trap out of the lineup, but it's still strong enough where you need to play it. In 3 Dino, it's perfect. Uh, discard a card, banish a card. Has to be face up, but in most cases, you're banishing face ups anyway. But you want to banish face ups. Uh, so, yep, 5 Spot Removal. Going to board wipes, play free ceiling, free torrential, self explanatory again. Um, against invoke, you want to see this. Against most other things, you probably want to see this. But ceiling is still very solid in a lot of matchups. Uh, so, you know how I said we play three of each? No, we don't. We play six of each. Trap trick get you, gets you any of them traps for free, more or less. You, it does take a, a extra trap out your deck, but it's so worth it. Three traps gives you the versatility of any trap in your deck, as well as it's very nice just to have. Uh, if you only have trap trick, it means that you have versatility where if you need that spot remover, you can get a dynamiscus. If you feel that your opponent is popping off it too much, get a needle ceiling. Um, if they're not doing much and they just stack a monster, they got a monster in the graveyard, get a bat, uh, get a griefing or a bat jack or a trap for your next turn as well as follow up with stacking your deck or just send a Skarm. Skarm gets you a tall guy, a tall guy gets you going. And then the things you can't trap trick, three strike, one order, um, best trap, like hands down, this helps you go in seconds so easily. Uh, because you go Ceiling, Chenic 1, they go like Savage Chenic 2, Chenic 3 Strike, they can't do anything about that. They lose the whole field for 2 cards and 1500 life points, which is well worth it. As well as uh, with Tank Kids, you strike their Summon of a Link Monster, uh, they don't get the effect in Grave, which is also very nice. In order, just play it. You'll regret not playing it, it is busted. It wins a lot of games just by itself. Let's go into the extra deck, uh, you've probably seen it all before. 2 Dante, 1 Fortune Tune, 1 Downard, 1 Beatrice, 1 Zeus. Um, this is the best card in the extra deck, uh, hands down. This wins you so many games just because it can't be targeted and it takes 3 pieces of interaction to destroy it. Um, down is nice to get your extra material on Zeus, Zeus is just a beast, and the others are self-explanatory. 
Link Spider for Dynamiscus uh, it summons out as a normal monster, and Verte and uh, Trisbane both require effect monsters. So that's why you play it. As well as a Nibiru token, it's sometimes nice to link it off to get an effect monster to then start playing further. And we play Link 2's uh, IP, Verte, and Cherub. Uh, Cherub you could cut, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's really good. It's just, depending on the format, you probably can cut it. Uh, Verte is Verte, you don't need to explain that. And then IP is a backup plan. Uh, so if you say you mill a piece of Red Eye stuff or you hard open Red Eye's fusion, uh, you make IP Beatrice, which is still a very strong board. Uh, and then follow up with a Red Eye's fusion next turn. Very strong. Uh, also, a little interaction with Cherubini. You've got a seal on your field. Uh, you can go Cherubini, target seer, send Barbar. Uh, that seer becomes 3 4 and it can beat over. Dragoon, and if it's a normal summon seer, it can be over Avamax. Just a little, little tip there, just in case you didn't know. Uh, Link Freeze played Trisbane and Unicorn. Tris came up once or twice. It it didn't stay on the field for long. Unicorn's cool. Don't think I summoned it. Access code big Link for. Uh, how many times did I use this? Not at all. Uh, never summoned it. Never needed to. Dragoon does enough. Speak of a devil. Here he is as well as the Burning Abyss counterpart. Uh, Dragoon is way too broken. It's, it's in the gate which is meant to go 1 for 1, but in this, in this deck you go 0 0.5, maybe just a plus 1, uh, because all your discards are 95% of the time they're going to get more advantage. Get a Graph, can even get a Alec to negate a card in their field, get a Farfa to banish a card in their field. Get a Skarm, which can search your tour guide in your phase. Get a Seer, which can get you a Graph. I don't. A Seer can get you a Dante back from your grave. This this deck is so solely just advantage based. As well as if you do end up summoning this guy, he does the same thing. Requires just Burning Abyss, but it's not in the gate. It's just keep on drawing cards. Absolutely busted. Uh, then very simple side deck. Green Nibiru, don't at me because they're gold because I needed them. Like. I, I ordered them like two days beforehand, and those are the only ones that are available for me to get. Uh, so I decided in like three times, only saw it once, and it came up. My Franken's opponent um, overextended and he lost because of it. Uh, three Dimension Shifter, uh, never resolved it, never needed to. It went in there for Dragon Link, never saw it. Uh, three Drill, uh, went in there for certain matchups. Did I see it? No, didn't need it. Um, so yeah, hand traps are there for just Dragon Link more or less, and can go in for certain other matchups, but you don't necessarily need them other than for Dragon Link. Then the cards which we do side into is free anti spell and free judgment. These are your MVPs in your side deck. Uh, anti spell against any of the fusion decks is sometimes game. Judgment on a key removal piece such as Duster can just win you the game. Uh, judgment on uh, Dark Crew no more. Or just anti spell on the standby face or draw face that so we can't use. Uh, Dark Cooler, Duster, um, Chaos Space, any of the field spells, any of the fusion spells is mental. So that was the list. Um, for those who are keen eyed, would notice that this is a lot like Gabriel Vargas' list, which, if you watch his streams, you would know that it is almost a carbon copy uh, because. To be honest with you, I'm not the best deck builder for control that decks. I'm always more combo. Uh, so for to see a guy like him, he's I want to say one of the better players currently in this game at the moment in time. If he thinks he, this is like decent enough to play, and he also came first at the uh, remote dual qualifier in the US with a very similar version of this deck, I can't say anything to that. If it's the optimal build, I'm playing it. Uh, so on that note, I wanted to give a massive shout out to Gabriel Vargas for giving me some pointers in the certain matchups, as well as just giving me just some basic advice just to tell me, like just tell me straight, okay, this is shit, play this, and you will just win. And hats off to him, he knows his stuff. So I won't keep you guys any longer. Uh, I love you. Uh, welcome to the channel if it's your first time. Please sub, it means a lot. And I shall see you guys next time. I cannot speak. Good night and I love you.